hello and welcome back to my channel everyone it is your girl cassandra olivia and in today's video i'm going to be doing some nails but i also wanted to show you guys some of the pr kits i was sent so i have quite a few things to show you guys i um got a pr kit last month from ready guana so i'm going to be using some of the products um nail addict also sent me eight nail polishes which i'll be swatching and showing you guys and then i also received a nail drill that is portable from melody Susie as well as a kit from Double Dip Nails. So I'm gonna be showing you guys everything really quickly, and then I will make sure to link everything down below. So first, I'm showing the nail polishes, but again, I'll be back in just a second to swatch. I just wanted to show you guys this drill by Melody Susie, and I'll pull up the specs now. So this drill is portable, it is super, super cute. Um, they did send me a link for you guys to use, as well as a discount code, so I will make sure to drop that down below. Um, but they sent me this nail drill. Um, it is rechargeable. It has a power supply, a handpiece holder. It comes with six base drill bits, a carbide drill bit, a ceramic drill bit, six sanding bands, and it also comes with a user manual. So I'm just unboxing everything right now. And then I am going to plug it in to charge it up prior to using. And you just want to make sure that whenever you try something new, that you are always always making sure to read the instruction manual i know a lot of people like to just jump right in but i'm a firm believer in like reading the instructions so that way i can make sure that my tools have longevity so they just have like this um it's not really it's like a dummy drill bit in here i don't know what it's called but they have that in here so you just remove that and then you put in an actual drill bit so i just went in with the sanding band and i'm going to play around plug this in um i just wanted to see if it was charged already if i have to fully charge it and then i wanted to see the led display so you can see that here it's bleeping it's blinking at the top and then this is also a little portable hook that you can hook on the side of the nail drill so that way everything is nice and like together so now I'm showing you guys what I received from Nail Addict LA. They sent me eight nail, uh, nail polishes, but two of them are the same. So the, the first one I'm going in with is Text Me Later, which is that orange shade. I did swatch both because I didn't realize at first that they were the same color. Um, they let me pick eight shades and a lot of them are similar. So I was like, let me just swatch this. And then I looked and I saw the name. And I'm like, oh my God, this is the same. So the second shade, that blue shade is called Another Glass. The third shade is Aqua Blue. The fourth shade is Dusk at Sea, which is that um, really, really pretty dark green color. And then we have Cess Extra and then Pretty Something. And then the last but not least, what I'm swatching now is Cranberry Juice. So I will also drop that in the description as well. And they also sent me a discount code for you guys to use and it's for 50% off. So be sure to hop on that ASAP. So now I'm going in and I'm showing you guys what I received from Double Dip Nails. They were kind enough to reach out to me and send me a PR kit. So I'm just gonna read everything off of the email just because I know I'm opening this kind of fast. They sent me a nail kit with liquids. It has an activator, a base gel, a brush cleaner, and a top coat. They also sent a Kabuki nail dip powder dust brush. They also sent three of these nail tip sticks so that way you can swatch the um, colors. They also sent me a portable holographic makeup bag, which is what I'm showing now. They also added in acrylic and dip removal easy no mess soak off clips which are the little clamps that you put on your fingers and they also put in a dip powder recycling system which is the little box so basically when you dip your nails you just dust them over top and you're able to reuse the powder if you were using it for yourself i wouldn't recommend doing this if you're going to use it on other people just because you don't want to cross contaminate um they also sent me some lucky charms nail decal stickers which I actually got this right before um, St. Patrick's Day and I was super booked. So I know it's kind of late, but I will still go ahead and save those or play around with those. And then they sent me six of their dip acrylics. So we have the shades Bohemia Moon, Too Too Cute, Sugar Plum, Black Like My Heart, period. And then we have the shade Charlie's Angels. And I will drop that down below as well as any discount code that they may have sent me as well. I know this is a lot. So last but not least, oh, not even last but not least, I got a brush off of Amazon. So I'm going to go in with this new nail brush. It's a size 16. And then I just want to show you guys briefly that I purchased a lot of polish, not polishes, a lot of acrylics from Not Polish. I got the whole entire Revenge X system kit. Um, it came with six acrylics. And then I also purchased like another four because they had a nice sale. So in this Ready Guana package, this is not part of the PR kit. This is actually what I ordered separately um besides having the pr kit that they sent me i wanted to go back and support them but i also wanted a couple more things so i went in and got a half silicone practice hand i have two short stands um what else a nail buffer 
and Livy has the practice hand. I gave that to her, so that's why you don't see in the video. I got two short stands. I got the nail buffer, the 180, 120 pack, a diamond nail bit in the size 10, um, a diamond nail bit number nine. I got the corn shaped nail bit, which is the number 22 on their website, the dehydrator. I got the small cone shaped nail bit 24. I also got a clean cuticle nail bit, the marble ink set of four colors, and I also got these two flashy lights, one for me and one for Olivia, just so that way we can flash cure. And then they also sent me some charms, the R178. I ordered two sets of those, and then I also ordered two sets of the R171 and some cactus stickers. So with that being said, your girl has gotten so many nail things and I felt so overwhelmed. But I'm very fortunate that people are reaching out to me. I did want to start getting back into nails. And the fact that companies literally saw the last nail video I posted and reached out to me, it makes me feel super special. So big thank you to all you guys. And again, I will link everything down below. So here I am. This is part of the PR kit that I received from Red Iguana. I'm going in with their Acra Gels and I'm going to be using that light pink shade that you saw on the screen. And I'm just going in with their nail forms. These nail forms are bomb.com. They are super sturdy. And I think that's going to be my new thing. I like tips, but I just feel like with the nail form, I can get a better shape. And I just really, really like doing things that are different. I feel like a lot of people use tips. I'm not against them, but I just feel like if I can get it done with the form, I want to really master this. So you'll see me using a lot of nail forms in my next couple of videos. Um, and I'm just going in with some 91% alcohol and I am using a brush from the cart that they sent me in one of their nail kits. And I'm just using this to dab the Acra Gel onto the nail. I am gonna start to create my shape. I will cure in between. I'm not gonna add the whole entire video just because it was about three hours for me doing the unboxing, the nails, and then I just did a completely random freestyle design. But I just wanted you guys to see how I'm pretty much shaping these nails. So I'm going in and creating my general shape. I took the nails down to a number five or six on each nail and I just made sure to match all the nails to the same number so that way they are the same height. So the thing I like about the Acra Gel, it reminds me so much of Poly Gel but the only thing is, you know how sometimes when you scoop out Poly Gel with the spatula, it will have a little bit of that um, residual like it looks like a spider web kind of like it just floats in the air you have to kind of like reel it back in i like the acro gel because it doesn't have a lot of like transfer if that if i'm seeing that right it literally you pick it up and it doesn't like have that stringy feel to it so it basically stays where you put it and i like that it's a little bit easier to me to work with than poly gel but it's it's around the same type of consistency it's just not as sticky so i'm just going in literally i was taking my time because i have only worked with this gel maybe two or three times so i was just trying to get myself familiar this is my first time using these with nail forms so i just want to make sure that i did my due diligence i am going to put the light pink on three nails and then i wanted to go in with the milky white and the light pink and ombre one of the nails and then once i'm done applying this i am going to go over top with the clear acro gel from red iguana and i'm just going to cap everything so that way when i go to file i'm not filing off the poly gel colors that i'm putting down okay so i'm just going to apply this and i will be sure to link everything down below as far as the hand the rings the tools i'm using i will literally sit there and tag and link everything i know it was a lot in this video that you guys have seen so far but i didn't want to miss out on anything and again i will be making separate videos for all of the pack the packages that i showed you guys in the beginning but I recorded it all same day and I'm like, shoot, let me just use this footage and let you guys know like what's been going on behind the scenes. I am going to be taking off from work for the entire month of April. So this month I'm just going to be using to basically get all my content out there and really start cranking out more nail videos as well as more hair coloring videos. So I'm going to finish applying this and I'll be back shortly.
this is the nail that I decided to ombre. So you just see me going in at the top with the Milky White. I am going to scrape it off halfway just so it's not covering over the pink that I put on here and just being sure to blend this out. And again, I cured in between layers. So I put on the pink first, all the nails, and I cured each one individually just because I didn't want the product to move on the nail forms. And then I went back over and then applied my clear. So this one is just ombre. And then again, I'm gonna cure it and then I'm gonna put the clear on top. I made sure to cure in between every application just to make sure that I don't have a lot of the product moving back and forth. For me, it just seemed a lot easier. And if you guys have not already, please be sure to follow your girl on Instagram at underscore Cassandra Olivia. Like this video, comment any type of nail videos that you wanna see. I have so many goodies that I feel like I wanna use and I kinda of get overwhelmed because I feel like I wanna do 20 different nail designs in one. So I kind of was going with that with this set. I had no idea what I was going to do. I feel like the, na the nails came out okay, but I felt like I was just doing a lot on the nails. And you'll see what I mean at the end. Like it started off very nude and neutral. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in with this chrome that Ready Guana sent me. So I started to use a chrome. But then I really, really liked this um, nail mold that they sent me to make like um, bows and roses. So I'm like, you know what? I want to use this also. So I tried to use as many Ready Guana products as I could in this video. And I feel like because of that, I did a lot but i was trying to step out of my comfort zone so just let me know if you like it if you didn't i thought this set came out okay it was cute but i just feel like the colors kind of didn't go in the end but i mean somehow still worked i don't know and then i also wanted to try my marble ink so it was just a lot going on in this video but your girl wanted to try to play with everything and i, I wanted to record me testing new things out and just showing you guys that i am too am learning i'm not by any means a nail tech so me just getting back into this since being out of cosmetology school for 10 years it's just like it's fun but it's very challenging because the nail industry has changed so much so i'm going to finish applying this and i'll be back in just a second guys So now I've cured the nails and I'm just going in with a cotton swab and some alcohol and I'm just wiping off the tacky layer of the top. And now I'm just going to go in with my Ready Guana file and I'm just going to go ahead and hand file all these nails and get my shape in there. So I'm going to file them this direction and then I am going to turn the hand over and act like it's a potential client and shape it how the client would see it. So I do this on every video just to make sure that this, the shape is crisp. And then after that, I am gonna go in with my Ready Guana nail buffer and I'm just gonna go ahead and buff out the nails as well. And here you see me removing the nails. This just makes it a little bit easier because these nails can slide off. I do all of my nail sets like this now because I have done them to where I've glued the nails onto the hand, but then it just takes forever to soak them off. So the way that I do it now is I put the nail tips inside the nails and then I always either use the nail form or I double tip the nail. And it makes it so that way when I'm done, all I have to do is slide the nail off and it will come right out. But because of this, you just wanna be careful if you're gonna file kind of heavy handed. Um, it's easier probably just to take the nail off and put it back or you can hold it and press your finger against it but this is just the method to my madness again i'm all about an easy cleanup and i love the fact that i can literally slide these nails off when i'm done and start a brand new set without having to soak these off for an hour so now i'm just going in with this nail duster that i got off of amazon and this is the shape that i came out with i could have honestly stopped here and put like a clear coat on but this is where my creative side started coming in and i was like you know what 
I want to play around with some more things. So I'm just going to go in and use my Red Iguana top coat. I'm going to top coat these nails. And then once I'm done, I am going to start playing around with the gel. And the thing I like about the Red Iguana nail forms is the fact that, um, or the nail, what is this called? The It's not a nail form. It's like the nail mold, the silicone mold. You use regular gel polish and you put it inside of the mold. So you can literally make any color that you want. And then you cure it under the light for about a minute and a half and then you pop them out and you can just glue them onto the nail this is perfect for if you want to do 3d nails and you have no idea how to do a freaking free 3d nail so i thought it was really cute and it's like a quick little nail hack so here i am i'm going in with my marble inks from red iguana i decided to use the silver the black the white and then i randomly went in with the gold um i did mess up on this nail but i left it on there because hey we're still learning and i want to show you guys again that i'm not perfect but i wish i would have let this dry a little bit after i had did the uh the marbling because i went right in with my top coat by red iguana and it literally blurred out the whole entire thing but i was like you know what i'm not going back in and doing this again so i left it as is so if you are new to a nail marbling or using marble ink just make sure you let it dry down a little bit before you put on your top coat because i literally destroyed this nail after i sat here and did all this work so just watch me do that and then i'll be back in just a second after that i am going to go in with let me see what this is called i'm using the chrome and it is in the metallic pink shade so again i started off thinking i was going to just do like one random design nail and because i was like you know what the shape is cute let me just go in and just try some other stuff like get out my comfort zone so I again this is just a play around video of me just trying a hundred million different things and just having fun that's all nails to me is about is just having fun and expressing your creativity so again i will link everything down below and yeah if you made it this far you a real one because i know this is a longer video but i just wanted to make sure that i got this out to you guys i've been promising you guys these freaking nail videos for so long and i'm like okay cassandra you need to spend some time on the weekend and get these out so i'm just going in with the nail art brush and i'm just marbling these nails as best as i can they did have like this marble um it's not a it's not a base coat it's like the marble polish i guess that you put on prior to you marbling the nails and it helps it marble out more and whatever but i will link everything down below because it was a whole lot a whole lot of going on and this is the nail chrome i was talking about i got these eyeshadow applicators off of amazon as well i literally went on youtube and watched people do this and i started doing them like uh, like this shape here but then once I got finished, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just put it on the whole entire nail. And this is where like the color scheme kind of got off. So I'm just going in with some polish by Nail Addict. I'm going in with their white, white out. And I'm also going in with their black. And then I found this random glittery shade um, in my nail arsenal, I'll say. So I went in with that. But again, these nails would have been cute the first time I finished them. Even the second time here, I just started doing more stuff just to play around. But again, I had fun doing this set. Um, definitely going to come out with a color scheme prior to me doing the nails because I was like, why do you have all these different colors? Like, it's just, it's just doing a lot, but I have fun. So, um, with that being said, I will link everything I use down below. Um, anything that I use nine times out of 10 is on my Amazon store. It's in my description. If you made it this far, you are a real one. I really do appreciate you guys bearing with me while I'm trying to teach myself how to do these nails. Um, and I just want to get better at them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not going to talk your heads off too much longer. I've already been talking this whole freaking video. My apologies, but I just had to explain what I was doing. So um, once I was done putting these on with the gym gel, I just let them cure. And this is pretty much the end result. So thank you guys again so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.